Something that I keep hearing from traders on interactive brokers is there's no easy way to find your trade history. How do you know when you actually opened up a trade? Well, today's video is all about showing you how to find that information on the TWS app, the interactive brokers mobile app, and the iPad app for all you tablet users out there. If you use the TWS platform with interactive brokers on a desktop or laptop, you'll know that the activity area is where you see your orders, trades, and summaries for the daily trades that are appearing. What most people don't know, however, is that you get seven days of data in this area if you want to. To do this, go up to new window, type in trade history, and this is gonna give you a few extra days of your trading information that's gonna show there. So right here where it says show trades for today, you click the drop down right there and go to seven days. Now you're gonna be able to see this activity area down here open up and give you more information. I'm just gonna close this down. More information for your summary, your actual trades, when they were made, September 17th, and your orders, if you had any orders in here that aren't live trades yet, they'll be in here as well for a seven day period versus the current trading day. So a quick hack there for you to change that up and get this information in the hopper. Now, if you wanna get beyond that and go a little bit further, let's say month to day trades, it's very, very simple. For the trade history overall for a custom report, go to account in the top left corner, go to activity under access reports and click on activity statement. A page like this is going to pop up in a new browser for you. And then all you have to do is go into activity right here in the default statement section. We can run that and just go instead of daily, let's go month to date or custom date range if you wanna go back further in time. Let's do month to date for this example. Then we're gonna pull it and go HTML, so view it in a browser. You can also do PDF if you want to print it, but we'll do view. And once the report is simulated, we see it's September 2nd to September 19th, perfect, coming down here. If we click on trades over here on the left-hand side, now we have all the trades that we had made in that trading period. You can see there the date and time, September 10th, we bought 40 shares of Tesla. On September 17th, we closed what looks like a credit spread. And on September 10th, we opened up some kind of combination position on Tesla looking there like a iron condor. So that's an easy way to find it out on the Interactive Brokers TWS platform, plus an extra tip there of how to get seven days of actual trading data on the platform itself without having to go in and build in this custom report. Now let's look at the Interactive Brokers mobile app for all you phone-based traders to see how you get this information just as easily. So in the mobile app, it's a bit easier to track our trades over the course of that seven day period. If we go into our trading area down at the bottom right there, and then if we click one more time on the trades area, and in here we see no items to display. So there was no trades today on September 20th. That's fine. And what's important is these areas at the top here where it says today, yesterday, Wednesday, September 18th. And if you scroll over, you can select these dates and understand if there was actual trades made on these days by selecting each individual date. So it gives you a day there on the 17th, some trades were made, which is great. If you continue to kind of scroll over and clicking on these subsequent dates on the Monday, and then obviously on a Sunday or a Saturday, there's probably not gonna be any trades. So you have seven calendar days in there though, already pre-programmed in the app where you can look at and look back to your trades and see what day they were made, what trades they were made, they were saved for you there with a couple clicks inside the app in the trade section. If this information is totally blank, what you need to do is go up to this top hamburger icon right there, then just scroll all the way down until you get to account management down at the bottom. Click on that little drop down arrow right there. And you can guess where we're going. We're headed to activity statements yet again to print off a beautiful quick little hitter on our trading summary. It pre-populates with the daily period selected. So what we wanna do is click on this little drop down arrow one more time and do month to date for this example. We're gonna click this little button right there. So we do that, boom, that's gonna load in. Then we just have to scroll down here and select if we want PDF, HTML again, or CSV. I usually just do HTML and click right here to see view, to easily view it on your phone. Hang tight while that report generates. But then when it does come back, we're scrolling down again, going to that trade section one more time. And then we have the luxury again of going through and understanding which trades were made. Our date and time column is right there. So everything in this column right here is our date and time for all the trades that we've made. And we can easily go through and see what was done, when it was done, and what kind of trades were made. And again, a few little clicks there easily on the Interactive Brokers mobile app. Now let's hop into the iPad application and show you one more time how to get this information very easily. When starting from the portfolio tab, what we wanna do is again, go into the trade button in the bottom left-hand corner. 
This allows us to get into a similar position, like just like in the mobile app for our phone, where we can click on orders, trades, and look at the trades with the given kind of trading day. We can then swipe across again, yesterday, Wednesday, Tuesday, everything is shown there for the last seven trading days, just like on the mobile app for your phone. So pretty simple there. If you have seven days of data, you can use that to your advantage. If you don't have your trade listed in there again, what we want to do then is go into the more section on the left-hand tab. We want to go scroll down again. You can guess where we're going, account management one more time. And then we want to go to activity statements yet again. Big shocker, I know. We have the option again to do daily, custom, or month to date. Let's do month to date just to keep it consistent with everything else. Click on HTML again, click the view button. Reports being generated. Thank you very much, Interactive Brokers. Scrolling on down, go into that trade area right there. And you can very easily see on your iPad or your tablet, all the trades again in the same format as before. All three scenarios give you the same information, all with just a couple clicks of a button. I know it's a pain in the ass at times to go look for this information, but this is the easiest way to get there. It's very quick. It's very easy. It's direct. Hopefully, this gives you a bit more support on where to go for the iPad application. And if you want more killer tips on how to set up your interactive broker's account on TWS, on the mobile app, on the iPad app, whatever you use to trade, check out my interactive broker's blueprint coming very soon. It's linked in the description of this video, giving you all the things you need to get your account set up properly. Do it right the first way, save time, save frustration, and do things right from day one. Linked in the description. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to catch you on the next one.